His story comes from Colorado, a rural police officer placed on leave for controversial email. So the controversial email is very interesting. It's, it's a very strange thing. In an email to his 270 union members, Doug Wilkinson complained about diversity efforts to increase female and minority representation in his department. The city of Aurora is now under a federal consent decree with this police department, meaning that it is one of under 30 American cities out of more than 19,000 that is under such a federal consent decree, and it is a result of cases such as the Elijah McClain case. Now, with that being said, he wrote this letter to the Aurora Police Association, which is the police union there, and I want you to hear the news report from Aurora, Colorado. An Aurora police officer has been placed on paid leave for an email that he wrote as president of the Aurora Police Association. Doug Wilkinson was writing about the consent decree between the city of Aurora and the state attorney general following the Elijah McClain case. Wilkinson complained that div about diversity efforts to increase female and minority representation in the department. Wilkinson wrote in this email, quote, we could make sure to hire 10% illegal aliens, 50% weed smokers, 10% wow. crackheads, and a few child molesters and murderers to round it out. Wait a minute. And he went on to say, you know, so we can make the department look like the community. Tell us how you really feel. Am I right? Wilkinson said the department what? should focus on intelligence, personal ethics, and courage for hiring and promotion purposes. In order to match the diversity of the community, we could make sure to hire 10% illegal aliens, 50% weed smokers, 10% crackheads, and a few child molesters and murderers to round it out. Wait a minute, what the fuck are you saying about your own community? Tell us how you really feel, am I right? And mind you, he's the president of the Aurora Police Union. Potentially problematic. This man is the president of the fucking union of the same cops who killed Elijah McClain. It's business as usual. What the fuck does it say when that man from that police department who represents that fucking union says that? A pattern, sir? A villainous pattern indeed. What? does it say to you thanks for watching if you would like more deep dive content please go subscribe to my youtube channel and if you want more shorter content you can check out my tiktok make sure to like comment subscribe and follow but most importantly make sure you share the content with everyone that you know so that we can hold cops accountable until next time horns up peace out good night and good luck